Hello, YouTube. It's Palm Say Magnifique with another video. So, I'm going to try to get this video done and over with because I'm supposed to be going out. At least, that was what the plan was. So, my voice is all cracky because I've been outside in the rain all day with my daughter because she left out for prom today. So, yay, that part of life is over. Sending my only, my only daughter off to the prom. And I won't have to do another prom for three more years, maybe, unless son three decides to go another year of what he's supposed to. So he'll be in the 12th grade in three years. So then I'll get to another, do, a, do another prom. But it is a lot of work and it's raining today. And it's kind of like them days where you really don't know whether it's gonna continue to rain or what the deal is gonna be. So it started off okay, it was cloudy, but the sun was still trying to peek out and shine. So we got through the first part, but then once we got downtown, cause the prom is downtown, um, once we got downtown, it started pouring down raining. So my buddy came in from uh, Cincinnati. I had one buddy come in yesterday and the other one come in today. Bless their hearts. They just happened to know that this was going on. And normally I would be like, you know, kind of moving and shifting around by myself, but I was actually able to have some company today, which was greatly appreciated. Thank you, people, my people, my girls. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get on with this haul. And I'll share with y'all along the way the things that I have saw today that have blown my mind, literally. So, um, again, excuse me for the scratchy voice, but I guess it's them because I've just been yelling and screaming all day or I don't know. And I, just, I did take a nap. That's old folks stuff, right? Everybody, old folks, if you ask me to go out, I'd be like... Well, let me go home and take a nap, and then I'll tell you how I feel when I get up, or if I get up. So, I got the night off because I have PTO. This is my weekend usually, but I did get the night off, so I'm excited about that. And I'm going to try to make the best out of it before I get ready to go back to work, because it's going to be a super grind this next round. But, let's get this haul done. And this is actually haul number 12, right? I believe it's 12. If y'all can keep up with me, because I can't keep up with my damn self. So I think it's hard number 12. Yes, I'm opening the bag with y'all because I told y'all I would. Now this should be a freaking thumbnail because I keep getting caught up without one. So and then it's like a weird picture on the front page unless I find something else to put on there. But I did get three bags today. Um or did I get them? I think, it was to, I think all of them came today, or maybe one came last night or something, or yesterday or something. But the people that deliver them, it's usually the same people that deliver them. So when I told them today that I had already had two packages, one got delivered this morning, they were like, Did you? I said, Yeah. They said, The same kind of package? I said, No, it's not the same kind of package. Or it's the same people, you know, the same company, but it's not the same, you know, box, because it was a little bag and then a big bag. So. They were surprised. But anyways, I'm trying to... Because I know they be taping these bags up like they're sending over illegal stuff. Dang, I'm already three minutes into the video. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. So you'll see a lot of um, vacation stuff in my bags in, in these hauls. And that's because I'm usually, I'm, well, I'm supposed to go on vacation, but sometimes I have spontaneous thoughts to go places. So I just make sure I got stuff on board just in case. So this is, oh Lord, I thought this was going to be like a, um, a different material because the other one that I got is a different material, but this is kind of like a, this is one of those long, this is a long dress with a little flare at the bottom. And I thought it was going to be like more of a cotton material, but this is poly. She had to show up, huh? Which makes this look like it's a lounge gown, like you're supposed to wear it in the house. So I guess that's why I'm going to be wearing it because that's what it looks like. But that is that. It was $8, I think. 
And this one, I think, is a bunch of headbands in here. So you'll see me fiddling with these little packages, which I should just have a pair of little scissors and my little Kona over here, but I keep forgetting. So here's a headband for my little headband wigs. A little tight eye head, that headband. I got a bunch of these, so I'm just gonna, the next one, I'm just gonna show you the color instead of trying to open this bag for all of them because it'll take me forever to get through this haul. So when we was downtown today, you know these kids be doing crazy stuff. So I saw this little boy down there, or we, we saw this little boy down there because it's pouring down rain. And at one time it was actually hailing, y'all. Prom, hailing. So um, anyways, we heard this. It was a Camaro burning rubber in the rain. And he, the, the, the back of his car spent. So he almost hit a parked vehicle. And so he slowed his roll. And then about 10 minutes later, we heard the spinning sound again and he was at it again. So I was like, is he having, I think he's having trouble at this point. So he ended up parking, sliding over and then parking at this little spot, like right before where we were sitting at, cause the kids took a horse and carriage. So we were waiting for the horse and carriage to show up. So um, <laughs> as they get ready, to, when, the, when the horse and carriage finally showed up, cause they had to stop too, because of the rain and the hail and the, the horse was probably going crazy. So they stopped. Um, for a little while. So they were just a little bit late to get to us, probably like five minutes. And they tell you to be on time because they have other people that they're obviously taking them around and they want to make sure everybody stays on time skill. Um, and last year we did the horse and carriage as well because it's way cheaper than doing a limo. So my oldest son took a limo and that had to be like, I, that, I think that was close to $2,000, which I was like, he ain't even graduate. So I felt crazy doing that, but whatever. Anyways, those are the chances that we take in life or whatever for our kids because they're my babies. They'll always be our babies. So, um, anyways, <laughs> he said, you look so pretty in your dress. And he was like, now turn up. And he turned his music up on the car. And I was looking like, you need to turn yourself down and figure out what's wrong with that car for your mama come down here and beat your butt. Because I just, I just, I didn't know who was in the car because it was a tent. But I was like, it's probably a young guy, you know, or, or a young person or whatever. Because no offense to young cat, young people, because... Y'all just be living life, and by God, live life. But be careful while you're trying to live life, because you never know. But anyways, <laughs> he was so excited. He just was so excited. And I was just like, he wasn't dressed like he was going to prom. So he wasn't, like, down there to go to prom. Like, he wasn't prepping to go to prom or nothing like that. But I was just like, that's interesting, very interesting. But anyways, on with the haul. So I got this one. That's another headband, purple. And then I got this headband, which is a different type of headband. And then, um, <laughs> so the next thing that happens within this, we only sat, we was only down there for like 45 minutes. We hear another scream, boom. <laughs> so the two little boys, <laughs> we look up, it's like three little boys riding on them little, two little boys riding on the little scooters. You know, the little scooters that they be having downtown, the little motor scooters. And he done spent off on the side of the curb and slid and bust his ass. I said, oh, shoot. And I kept telling my friend, I was like, I'm about to give me one of these to drive back to the car. Because I ain't just about to just be walking through downtown like this in this rain. I'm getting one. She said, I hope you ain't going to fall like that when you get on one. I said, you know what? I will think twice now. So here's another headband. And what we got? what we got some clothes oh okay so this one this is pretty i like this this is a long black dress so if you are a woman i always used to hear i don't know who used to say it's a long dress they used to always say as a woman you're supposed to have a fm girl dress if you know what i mean and this is one of those because this is it's black. It ain't even. It's not see through either. At least as far as I can see. No, nope, it ain't see through. But this mug is fitted. I will tell you that. Well, y'all know I didn't open the box until, or I didn't open the bag until today to show y'all. So I haven't tried these on yet. But I might do a little try on haul for y'all. Let y'all see what it do. Cause I might wear that tonight. 
So then I got this, which I thought was really, 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 really cute. And this dress I probably was like eleven dollars. The little long sleeve dress that was like eleven dollars. And I got this one, and this is a sorry, I got to tell you the size. These are largest because remember I was buying the mediums before, but we're buying from a different supplier, and sometimes the china suppliers the clothes run a little bit small so and by small i mean if you wear a medium you should be buying a large if you wear a large you should be buying an extra large and so on and so on so this one is what is it Oh, this is from a different one. That's from the last. That's from the last haul. Still got these pants here sitting here. Um. Oh, this dress here, the red dress that I showed y'all first. This one is a large. The color is watermelon. Yay! And it's a large. It's real small in the bag, or else I would have been able to see it. Y'all know, y'all know I'm blind, but I ain't that darn blind. It's just not. You couldn't see it. It's just small. So here is my newspaper skirt. This is what this is. It's got newspaper ads all over it. <laughs> and the biggest thing I can see on the back is red psycho. That is me. Psycho. See that? <laughs> I didn't read through these um, articles to see if they were even. This ain't even in English. Die with the function of Leary Fowl characteristic. Oh, it is in English. I don't know what it's talking about, though. It's all a bunch of just random words. So that's this. I might wear this tonight. I got to figure something out to wear and hurry up and put it on because I know they're going to be calling in a minute. This is a large. This was seven, six or seven dollars. Yeah. And that's a nice material. That's not like that poly. It's, it's probably poly, but it's a, it's a better look. It's not shiny. And it's thick, actually. It's kind of thick, so I know it's not secret. Good deal for that. So this... It's a short set. A little paisley, paisley, and then a little shirt that goes with it. And this is actually an outfit because you could take this shirt. This is a regular size shirt, but they had the shirt. Um, they had it. The, the girl had the shirt on like it had a hoodie in it, and it does not have pockets in it. I mean, you know, not not a hoodie, but pockets. It doesn't have pockets. But the way she had it on, I'm gonna figure out a way to get that to look the same like she had it look like it was like tapered at the end so i'm gonna do that too because that's what makes the that's what made me attracted to the outfit was the way that it was the way this shirt was sitting up against the shorts so we're gonna figure that out and do something special with it but that's cute it actually looks like pajamas but it's got them little slits in the um pants so this is that and this is a large yeah this is a large what do we have next I uh, bought a sweatsuit or some sweatpants and these is them marshmallow cotton they ain't even heavy they, these feel like a piece of like a piece of cotton a piece of cotton not a lot of cotton a piece of cotton so these were supposed to be i thought they were like um you know big kind of boyfriend fit or whatever but they're not they're just regular old sweatpants so they got me on those they do have pockets but they got me on those because i don't really like that material like that because it it's like that material that like um It gets them little, where you got to take a rock. It gets, it peels. That's what it's called, peels really fast. So whatever. Those were like, probably like eight or nine dollars a piece too. I'm actually kind of upset about that, but whatever. Anyways, that's what I get for keep on buying stuff. So these shorts were 
like 14 or 15 bucks for two. I like these though. They got pockets. They got real drawstring, see? They got a real drawstring. These might be, yeah, these would be nice. Put a little t-shirt on in the summertime, go out. Sit in the yard over the neighbor's house. My neighbors do a lot of little parties too. So we usually have the, like, the lit up street and people tend to complain about that every now and then. But, so I got a pair of gray ones. Um, but we figure it out. We do what we do. Try to keep it cordial. These are larges as well. And they came in a, they came as a set of two. So again, I think those were uh I think I paid eleven dollars for both of them. Good morning. Oh, I got my little shoes. Yeah, I like these. These were $13, but as I'm looking at them, I don't think I can fit them. I don't think I can fit them. They ain't gone. Well, maybe I can. Let's see. Nope, I can tell by the bottom of the shoe. It ain't happening. <laughs> Last night at the bar. <laughs> I went to the bar with my other buddy. Some girl's shoe, her heel fell off. I said, oh, Jesus. I know she is upset. She was walking, and all of a sudden, she went, Cluck. and I was looking like, oh, is she okay? I'm thinking she's just drunk, right? She sits down next to me. She starts talking to her friend. The next thing I know, she takes the heel and goes, and slams it on the table. <laughs> I said, oh, she lost her heel. But I've been there before, honey. When and During high school years, I had a pair of shoes that wasn't right. Mm-hmm, sure did. I ain't gonna even act like that ain't never happened. Leave in the comments if that ever happened to you, you done lost a heel to a shoe. Cause I'm such a shoe fanatic that um I buy shoes from everywhere. I don't care, I give everybody a chance. And uh, I had a pair of, um. actually they were made by bass. There were some clogs. And I was at work, leaving work one morning and that bug, that mug uh, sunk into it, it. You know how those, um, I'm trying to figure out how to put the shoe on y'all. Sorry. Um, you know how, uh, you, um, I was walking, trying to hurry up and get out of there. I was working third shift. It was for a little pharmacy job. And I went, it felt like I like walked in a ditch, but I was walking on the floor. So it wasn't no way that I could walk in the ditch because it should be floor. So when I, my shoe, my foot, my foot went down like, so then I looked down and it scared me because the cotton at the, it's like this. Um, So the way that the clogs were made, they weren't wooden. There was like an outside and then there was some foam on the inside. You know how Bass makes their shoes. Um, And so I just had them too long was what it was and they had dry rotted. So they ended up popping a loose. It was so freaking hilarious. I hurried up and got out of there though. I wasn't chit chatting that day. So there's the, there's these and they do fit. They just look like they wasn't going to fit, but I can't really show you how they, see? Ain't them cute? Them cute. Got a little toe thing up there. My toes ain't the cutest, but whatever. So that's that's them shoes. These were, thir these were $13. See, here go the other one. So you can kind of see what the flowers look like. The flowers are really cute. Yeah, I might wear that with one of them little dresses. No, I might put that on. No, nah, because it's raining, and I don't want to mess my shoes up. No, ma'am, I won't do it. So that was that. I didn't know my shoes was in there. That was a surprise. It was a surprise. That was a night. Nice, them cute. I like them. And the, and it's, and, and, the, and the bottoms ain't that bad. They, you know, they got a pretty nice little solid bottom to them. I don't think they're going to fall apart. I might get a couple of days out of them. So these are 40. The size 40. And I wear a size 8. So I I, I got 8 I got eight and a half and that was what the 8 and a half was the 40. So if you're wondering what size you should get. And I'm a pretty solid 8. Like even with my feet swell a little bit I can still fit an 8. So there you go. Here's another pair of them sweatpants. Them little cotton sweatpants. These are actually a little bit better than the, than the black pair. 
these feel a little bit heftier. See, because I work from home, so I like to be comfortable when I'm when I got them long days where I'm working both jobs. I like to have um, comfort. So these are um, this is a better a better look cotton than them, and it's probably because they gray. You know, gray. A lot of times they they make it it be it feel different when you put it on as opposed to other colors. I don't know why that fabric is like that, but whatever. Anyways, I got another pair of shoes. Oh, so these, you got to put the shoe together. So this is the shoe. And then these little um, inserts are for this little band. See that band? So you got to take these. Let's see. And these the same size, they 40s. See, it's a 40. So I'm going to put my foot in there. And then... So they had these tied up like little bows. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna put it through there. Let me do it first and then I'll show you. These cute. And they these came in a bunch of different colors, but they only had them like they didn't, they were out of stock in a bunch of them. And these were nine dollars, I think, or something like that. They weren't, they weren't more than twenty. They weren't more than twenty dollars, I wouldn't say. Nine dollars might be low balling them a little bit, but around this. So I'm trying to tie these and I'm not doing a good job. So I think I put that on wrong. So I'm gonna do it. They had them crisscross and doing a mess. Doing a lot of mess. Let's see. I don't know. I might have to do this another day and show y'all because uh this video is 22 minutes already. I know y'all be wanting to see. I know I do. So I watch these videos so I can see what I'm ordering before I order it instead of having to do blind buys because I hate blind buys. You'd be mad like, okay, I only paid $9 for it, but I could have spent $9 on a lunch. I'm mad. You know, you get mad because you'd be like, this is, this is stupid. Why did I even do this? Excuse me. Sorry, the silence shouldn't be there. But um, anyways, I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing tied around here without pulling too hard on the on the thing. So look, I'm just gonna do it real quick. <laughs> that ain't how that's supposed to be. Cause it's supposed to go up your ankle. I'm not even gonna try to do that like that cause that ain't right. there that might look a little bit better <laughs> y'all about to be weak look so see you got this but they had it tied up real cute on the video so i mean on the picture so just look at the picture on online and try to figure this out because there's no instruction manual so they probably just thinking people gonna figure it out on their own which people probably should but i'm too lazy and this is not like just a it ain't like a ribbon. It's it's uh kind of tough. So that's what makes it harder for me to tie it because it's a different way to it. But anyways, that's that. And I bought these shoes to wear with these little dresses that I brought actually because I've got some flats, but the, the ones that I have have little shiny, they had little rhinestones on them from um what I would take to what I would take to wear in Vegas, actually. Okay, so that's one extra thing, and that's a uh headband. Yep, this is a headband that I don't even remember ordering this color, but I probably did. These were only like a dollar twenty some cents. So I went ham as usual. Yep, that's a headband. Simple, simple, Sue. See, it's about that thick. Yep. So that is all for the haul. Thank y'all for coming. Let me know in the, in the comments if one of your kids is going to prom because it's prom season, but it's been raining. So I don't know if it's raining everywhere else, but here it's raining, which makes prom a little bit difficult to get through. But we made it. Thank you all for coming to see the haul.
I think we're at 139 subscribers. So keep it coming, y'all. We got 11 more before we add the 150. And then we're going to keep on choking it up to 200. And remember, I said for this giveaway, I'm giving away one of the humidifiers. So um, I don't know what I did with it, but it's somewhere over here. But, yep, so I'm giving away a humidifier unless y'all have a different idea. So if it's anything you saw in the hall that you think I should give away for the giveaway, put it in the comments so we can um, consider that, you know? So thanks again. Have a great day. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.